What'd he hit? <laughs> oh, no, no. I'm upside down. <laughs> All right guys, so we have an awesome episode planned today from B17 stuff going on. We've even started our new cloud lightning that we're putting on our ceiling, and we're gonna be messing around with a new Gremlin quad that you guys are gonna love, and we're gonna mess around with our Insta360 go-to action camera. But before we get into all of that, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor this episode, and that is our friends over at Under Lucky Stars. All right, so Under Lucky Stars is a great gift option for anybody in your family, your friends, etc. All you have to do is take it a location and enter a time of that special moment in your life and it creates this awesome star map that is specific to you and that moment and one of probably the coolest parts is that it's actually verified by a NASA astrophysicist because these guys, Under Lucky Stars, are the original star map maker. So I actually got the opportunity to work with Under Lucky Stars and the date and the time that I chose was actually the day that Liz and I, my wife, and I got married. And also got to make a little tagline at the top that says we became one under these stars and it has the star map and then on the bottom it has the date, the time, location, uh, where and when we got married. And as you can see here, I obviously chose the galaxy background, which is really cool. Um, but you have all these different design options that you can choose from. I think there's 15 different design options, as well as they print this on museum quality thick matte art paper. So you know that the quality is there from top to bottom. Something else that's really cool about the company is that they're deeply committed to keeping space litter free by supporting the International Dark Sky Association. All right, so now here's where you guys come in. If you guys wanna get an awesome, unique gift for one of your family members or your friends, make sure you check out the link in the description below or go to underluckystars.com slash flight test, use the code flight test, and you're gonna get 10% off your order, which is pretty awesome. Now, I gotta get back to work and see what's going on with these guys and the gremlin. So there's these things that are just absolutely amazing. They're called Cinewolves. And there's many different manufacturers that design them here. We're gonna try our hand at making our own version of a Gremlin Cinewolf. And that way it has full guards on it. It's gonna be fantastic for STEM, but also for people that wanna learn how to fly, maybe wanna bump around a couple of things or want the safety of being able to fly indoors without hurting anything, this could be a real good solution. Uh, what we did is we just made a simple double run frame. We put full guards on it, and I tried to trim as much meat as possible out of it, but still keep it strong. So we're gonna go ahead and put this together. We're gonna test fly it, see how much power it has, what it can carry, and hopefully, if everything works out good, we can move to the next step, which is refining it and getting it ready for kitting. So we have a new uh, quad pilot in the, in the FT team here, and that's Lee Kackner. And what I actually call rage flying, which it isn't, like he is really into it, but Lee knows one speed, and that is full speed. He took a gremlin recently and just fell in love with it. And he's hitting everything with it. I think when we get this flying, the stress test it, we hand this to Lee and then make him good and fired up and right. see what happens. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I'm currently on my way down to manufacturing. I've got some uh, nacelles with me I'm meeting Josh down here so that way we can uh, get started on cutting the holes for the landing gear. We're going to get to it. All right, so we're on to the main nacelles here. Uh, what we did is we have two different cuts we're going to be doing. One's going to be the, for the main box, and that's going to be the wooden box we're going to eventually set up in there and fasten in place. And that will be able to receive either a fixed landing gear or the retractable landing gear. After that, we're going to take that piece that we cut out and we're going to cut a separate profile, and that's going to be our wheel bay that basically lets the uh, landing gear and the wheel kind of go up inside of it. So when everything's said and done, we'll have a perfect rectangle cavity cut right in the middle of the cell and we'll also have the uh, the profile as well and while this is cutting out we have a whole bunch of boxes of some Adams ready board and that's gonna be really good for our clouds that we're gonna be doing our HQ because it's gonna give us the ability to let the light transfer through uh, compared to our opaque light test foam I thought really hard about that before I did it I was like, yes. <laughs> so this just destroyed our nacelle, but the good news is once we cut this out, we glue that piece back in, a little bit of filler. Yeah, we don't want to I'm gonna put this delicately over here. All right, so for making the clouds and mainly the reinforcement behind the clouds that's gonna hold everything together, basically what I did is I glued about five pieces of Adam's Ready Board together, and I'm just taking a pencil, I'm just sketching out this whole area here. And what I want for this area is as the boat's kind of flying into the wall, I want the clouds to kind of hang down, but also put the kind of parting, like it's kind of going in between a gap there. 
What that's gonna do is for the gremlins and the tiny whoops, it's gonna give a really cool feature that's gonna finish it off. It'll give a, a cool look this way and also horizontally. Uh, but also, I mean, all that cloud lightning is going to bounce off of the battleship as well, which I think will be pretty cool. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we talked about you while you were over helping in manufacturing. We were talking about how you're new to the Gremlin flying and yeah. you've just gone full speed into it. Once we get this flying, I think the durability test needs to be you flying FPV with it. Yeah. You know? But can you, you isn't that insane frame. how... That is nuts. Yeah. Check this out, Stefan. Oh, hey, look at that. that oh, man. Oh, man. It would be oh, the You can call it whatever you want. You can call it amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. It's so easy to control too. That's awesome, man. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. That's awesome, man. Man, imagine, where's the Insta go? No. Do you have a mount for it? What's it remind you of? You know, have you ever seen the little <laughs> green guy uh, from SpongeBob? Plankton? Oh, yeah, plankton. I wanna, I wanna, can we put, let's paint this green and then put little sprites and make them plankton. Can you I see just, that? Oh yeah. I always think of a minion, but yeah, plankton's a better one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> can you 3D print this that, that makes them have little arms? Yeah, I could actually. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if this lifts. Oh, what a hit. Ladder. <laughs> I didn't know there was ladder on there. <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird. Let's go look at Stephen. I think he's in the meeting right now. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think that's a pretty good success. I, we have a winner, dude. This is exciting, man. So there's some really special backstory with this whole entire frame design. We're working with a STEM camp to design a gremlin frame that's durable, that's safe, that's easy to put together uh, for them to learn all about, you know, assembling a quad, flying a quad, PID tuning, etc. cetera. Uh, but we're not gonna stop there. This is gonna be refined, lightened up, I think even more. We're gonna get in our store. Go a little bit farther, but I just wanna give you guys an opinion. Can you see it? I think it's beautiful. I like it. Yeah. And I'm thinking like the bow of the ship will be like right here, so it's not it's not even on both sides, you know what I mean? Right. And uh, this side on the far side is gonna be the thunder, more thundery area, right? Yeah, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We'll end that early and that way this part can get darker before that goes. So cool. What I'm gonna do next now is that I'm happy with it. I'm gonna take chicken wire and just uh, extra out of the dirty board and I'll just start forming like little cloud pockets. And then tomorrow, I got 20 pounds of pillow fluff coming, and we'll have some fun. 20 pounds of pillow. I know, I can't wait to see what that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wes has had his fun, I've had my fun. We're gonna put this through the ultimate test, and that's our friend Lee. As we told you before, he likes to rage fly. We're gonna see how tough. You didn't hear about that. We, we were talking about your rage flying. Oh my goodness. We're gonna see what he thinks of it. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> what? Go up hard straight, a little bit forward. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. So major props to Lee because literally one day he's like, I'm gonna fly. And he has just been flying every day, pack after pack. What do you think, bud? Oh, oh man, I like it. I think this is almost easier to fly than this. Oops. Oh, hey, you know what? Hold on. I want you to fly inside. Okay. Go have fun. Whoa, camera! You did it! Oh, stop me! What the hell is that?
My bad. Oops. So the, so the vision around the ground lens is not necessarily like max power, max speed. It's durability, long flight times, easy to build, easy to fly. And I think this is checking all the boxes. Nice thing with these guards on it, you can bump into things, your props are going to be just fine. What do you hit? I'm upside down. <laughs> The pod racer. Yeah! Okay, you're gonna live with this for the week here. We're gonna continue to develop yes. this. He's gonna fly harder, harder, crash harder and harder. We're gonna learn from that, finalize it, and then it's gonna become a kit for you guys. It's gonna be fun. That's it. All right, guys, so I'm currently working on shaping the wings into the fuselage on the B-17. Uh, helpful little tip here, I have a wire brush on the end of a drill. It's kind of messy, but it works really good for removing foam quick. Now. As long as you're careful doing this, you can remove a lot of foam and get it done pretty easily. <laughs> All right, so one of our favorite things to do in Ohio is to step outside and watch the weather and welcome to Edgewater. Uh, normally this, this here is so low that you can actually walk underneath these bridges. And uh, we have about, instead of a 15 foot wide creek down there, it's almost 300 feet wide. So, so it's just water, not edge water. What do you say? Just water. You know what? We need to get the widget ready to fly. <laughs> you down for it? That would be neat. Alright. Ah. Oh man. Get the battery back up. Alright. So anyone ever woke up wondering what point top of the fluff looks like. There it is. We have clouds. Oh, oh look at that. that. Yes. Ah! All right, so what Wesley's doing behind me here is he's setting up the uh, frequency rate, the randomization of this to be much more often. And there's uh, different patterns here that this is gonna be triggering. When it hits that number, basically it starts that pattern. It could be any one of what, three or four patterns? Uh, three patterns. Three different patterns. This is one of the best things about the winter season because you know, winter season is also for modelers builder season. You know, that's when they're building for springtime. But it's also just a great opportunity, especially here at Flight Test, to, to do projects like this because we're always fighting against snow and sleet and rain and windy weather. And if you get a warm day, you better count it's going to be like 80 mile an hour winds uh, or flooding. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of a nice project that you guys can do too. And it's super easy and cheap. Yeah, it, it cheap. takes all the marks. I mean, you had this basically in the shape that it is like how quick yeah this whole cloud i got maybe counting lights 25 35 bucks there's one strand of lights we got uh eight sheets of adam's ready board and then we got uh, a sack of pillow fluff that's like uh, ten dollars and a chicken wire so between 30 and 50 bucks maybe no on the high side 50 bucks for a sweet looking cloud formation yeah, we can loop around What'll be really funny is if someone hits this with the whoop and it tangles, and then they pull it, and like the whole cloud comes with it. <laughs> it looks great. Thanks. Awesome work. Thanks, man. I'm excited to get this up on the ceiling. It's amazing because it is kind of like sectioning. The LEDs yeah. are just randomly doing it, but it's it's actually going with the exactly. clouds. It really does. It really does. And those three different patterns, you get the whole thing, you get a little bit over here, a little bit over there. And uh, what Wes is doing is he's cycling like how frequent do we want this. And I think also, I mean, this kind of gives us headaches after a while if it was just going off constantly. Uh, you're going to work on some different patterns later, right? Yeah. Yeah. We've got all kinds of different things we can do with this thing. We make all kinds got of his head out of clouds. Go <laughs> ahead. It's all stormy, it, though. It is, it is kind of funny because he's like, it pops he has up. a black shirt on, too, with the black wall. All you, all you <laughs> see is your head. Hey, do you, have like a, do you have like a little Koopa shell thing to throw over? <laughs> you found your calling, Wes. Alright, well, I keep doing <laughs> The last thing I think we gotta do is we gotta hang it up and we gotta whoop it. Yeah. Get the ladder. So everything we do when we design stuff, we, you know, whether it's airplanes or whether it's the HQ, we always think about what kind of memory it's gonna make. The whole vision of this place is not only to have a good environment, a cool environment when you guys are watching, but it's also to be able to connect with people and to have fun with them and to be able to bring them in and give them a special experience. So what I'm really excited about these clouds is uh, when all this is done, we'll be able to have open events, we'll be able to bring people up here, fly tiny, we'll fly gremlins, and just have a lot of laughter and memories and connection time. 
and uh, you guys can do this too. This is something that you guys can repeat whether it's in your workshop, whether it's at a school, whether it's at a youth center, whether it's at a church. Uh, this is something you guys can use as a tool to inspire, to connect. It doesn't only have to be planes. So while Dave is finishing up hanging the cloud here, I want to show you something he's been working on that is just incredible. This is an InstaGo 2 camera mount, but it's printed with our lightweight PLA made by ColorFab. The cool thing about this lightweight PLA is it actually has like a cool property where it's a little bit flexible and also incredibly light. This is adding such a minimal amount of weight, this Guardian will be able to carry it with no problem at all. We love the lightweight PLA and because it works on so many different models and applications, we brought that into our store along with our FT Guardian, which is both available right now. Now if you guys have a 3D printer at home, both the InstaGo camera mount and also this little guy right here in the front that holds our Caddx and all-in-one are going to be made available for you guys so you guys can print your own as well. Now we have West Charge and a battery. We're going to go ahead and pop this in. We're going to see what this cloud looks like from the Guardian's perspective. So while Wes is flying around, I want to thank you guys for being part of the Flight Test family. We had an amazing time this week working on the B-17, finally getting those wings and those engine pods on, and also getting our Lightning Cloud finished up. Make sure you hit the subscribe bell because next week we're going to be going crazy with what we learned with the clouds. We're going to be finishing off our tiny whoop area and the main HQ part, and we also have an amazing design from a community member that puts smoke systems on electric airplanes. Also, if you want a Gremlin of your own, those are now available in the store along with all the different 3D print designs we did both on the Gremlin and the InstaGo. We'll see you next time.